Waka pai te naku tau uh, e hoama, ko Leyland Stewart taku ingoa, e mihi atu ana ki a koutou katoa. Um, thank you all for your uh, support on our, in our, um, our Whakatipu Kahika uh, Facebook page, uh, Instagram and YouTube um, channel. Uh, it's, also, it's great having uh, your, your support. It's, re- it's really primo. Um, uh, ki te mōhio arā e tahi e, e, e tautoko ana i, i a mātou mahi, uh, te, whaka, uh, te whakāko i a mātou tamariki, a māua ko Stella tamariki ki te kāinga. Nā rira, tēnei kā mihi a kera. Uh, heartwarming uh, to know that uh, there are people interested in what we're up to um, uh, through Whakatupu Kahika and our uh, our, our journey of homeschooling um, that we've taken up now for the last three to four weeks. Uh, it's been exciting and um, and fun uh, to to do this uh, with uh, my wife Stella and I uh, for our three tamariki. Um, through those pages, though, through um, the, the social media networks, we have fielded a lot of questions about um, how to go about um, applying for exemption from the MOE to remove your tamariki from, from kura and um, begin homeschooling them. E iroto tonu i te ture. Uh, so Stella and I thought it might be good to create a video and um, post it up uh, so that you have uh, one reference point uh, to come back to, uh, to uh, perhaps inform uh, and help guide you um, through that application. A disclaimer though before I begin, uh, we are still awaiting approval for our, our exemption. I rang them up today and this has been I think seven weeks uh, since we put our application into the MOE. Um, however, uh, we have been told that we should hear back, uh, if not next week, the week after. Uh, and we are hopeful uh, for a favorable outcome that um, what we have prepared and, and sent uh, to MOE and what um, I'm about to share with you uh, is on the mark, on the money, and um, We'll, we'll, we'll gain the green light from the ministry. Hoyano, tēnei kā mihi akera. Just a little bit of a disclaimer that, uh, there before we, we kick off. I'm going to share my screen and uh, walk you through two of the four parts of the application. Um, and I'll explain why we're only going through two of them uh, and not the full four, Okay. Now, let me just share my screen, uh, Fano. Here we go. So, of course, if you're thinking about homeschooling or unschooling uh, your tamariki, then you are probably familiar with this page. Um, this is education.government.nz, uh, info for parents and Fano. But if you just Google search home education or homeschooling, uh, I think this is uh, hit number two. Um, okay, Kone. So we are looking at um, home education. Kapai. On this page here gives you uh, everything that you uh, need to know in order to apply. Uh, maybe, maybe all you're after at this stage is a little bit more information. But really, um, the, the crux of the matter is that the MOE want to know that you will that you are able to provide um, good education, uh, just or just as good, if not better, uh, than they would um, receive it at a um, could in, in a kura setting, uh, and that it would be taught uh, just as regular if not more, or just as well as um, they would receive in kura. Kapai. So you come onto the, the um, jump onto this page here, um, go to Google and, and Google search or whatever search engine you use and, and search for um, homeschooling New Zealand. And this, I think, is um, hit number two. If you end up at this page, then you're on the right track. It will direct you to on, on instruct you on how to apply. And so you have to download the ministry's application form uh, and follow the 
process. Kapo. That form looks like the Sehuama Home Education Application. It's pretty wordy. Um, just quietly, I think it's designed to discourage people uh, from pulling their kids out of school. Um, it comes with a detailed guidance document and it has uh, comprises four sections. Section one is really your, um, your what do you call it? Um, per, per, Could you try again? What is that? Sorry, I don't know what that is. Section one is all, all about your uh, personal details, contact details, to me, to me, to me. Section two and section three are the sections that really um, require of you as much detail as you can um, about how, uh, what you are going to teach, what your visions are, what your uh, teaching philosophy is. Uh, the method by which you will educate your tamariki and um, how it was sort of like proving how you would do that. Kapai. The section four uh, is just um, other optional information um, that you might consider to um, consider providing uh, to the MOE. Okay, what I'm going to do now is flick over to um, this presentation here now part of this is part of um, our our application so sections two and three the boy so fuck hika home education exemption application form uh, the this is the information that part of the information that we sent in particularly around section two and section three. Okay, when you get into um, section two, it opens up here uh, with the question, uh, sorry, with the statement, help us to understand your home education philosophy or approach and how you will meet the requirement to teach at least as well as, it, um, as a registered school. So what uh, my wife Stella and I uh, did was um, provide a statement about uh, our, our philosophy or our approach, um, how we, well, what, how we believe um, that um, what we um, have designed is, is, going to, is, is going to benefit our, our tamariki. Goodbye. Um, keep in mind that uh, between Stella and I, I mean, uh, we've been in education now for uh, 20 years each. And so we, uh, we've had, um, we think, enough experience to know um, what our tamariki need. As, and, and like, you know, we're all, we're all parents. So we, have, we are the ones that know, uh, well, we like to think we are the ones uh, that know our tamariki best. So our philosophy was uh, to allow our tamariki to explore, grow, and thrive as individuals in their own mana and time. Apply, that it would be okay for them to develop, um, for them to understand, for them to um, even like learning at different rates uh, and, and doing it in their own time. Um, this adds to their mana, okay? this adds to their, um, to them exploring uh, what, what they like to do, therefore bringing back a good feeling um, about their, about what it is that they are learning, okay? all the while enhancing their skills and attributes as rangatira, um, as kaiarahi and kaitiaki. So Whakatupu Kahika as a concept encapsulates our desire to grow leadership within our tamariki. Uh, it holds significance in our whānau as it represents a direct link to our ngāti mania pototanga our, um, uh, and encapsulates our mana whatu ahuru. Tō mātou mana 
uh, ahuake. <coughs> it's a deliberate enactment of tinoranga tiratanga, uh, which places us back in the driver's seat uh, and places a, a re returns a functional control, uh, directional control and responsibilities to us, to, to Stella and I as parents. Uh, Whakatu Bukahika is the reclamation of our mana motuhake. Oh, yeah. The next part of the application, in, in this section of the application, asks, um, asks for a, a, a plan or an, an explanation, an overview of what your curriculum is and how you intend to teach the philosophy that you just finished. Um, explaining uh, on, on, the, on the slide before this. So Whakatupu Kahika for us as a, as a, as a learning curriculum, as, as, a, as a teaching curriculum, uh, is, a, is thematically, a thematically integrated approach to teaching and learning based on three kaupapa matsua, uh, identity, um, the, the lunar calendar and, and what, it, um, what and how it informs um, culture, society, um, in this day and age, and kaitiakitanga, integrated learning through through projects such as sustainable living, uh, living um, by the guidance of the lunar calendar, uh, and the knowledge of under, and understanding of where and who we are from, where we are from, who we are from. All of that will be at the forefront of, of our Whakatupu Kahika curriculum. And if you've uh, been watching uh, some of our um, videos um, over, the, over the last couple of weeks, then you, you'll, you'll see us out and about um, following the plans that we've created that link back to this curriculum. And these three kaupapa matua. So those three kaupapa matua, tuakiritanga, kaitiakitanga, maramataka Māori, uh, they are the three sort of like guiding, guiding po of our, of our curriculum. Tuakiritanga, self-identity, pepeha, whakapapa, tohu, whenua, matua, tupuna, ko wai o. Ne? If you were to go back to kura, ko wai o, who am I? Who am I? Who do I belong to? From whom uh, do I hail? Where, from where do I hail? Kaitiakitanga, caring for the land, waterways, and people. Uh, maramataka Māori, aligning learning to the Māori lunar calendar. Now, before I go on, I just want to um, emphasize that we are um, by no means uh, mātanga. Uh, of the of the Maramataka Māori, we are learning as we go. So this is absolutely um, organic, and uh, is by by the mere fact that we are taking control over the learning of what our of what we um, what our tamariki are learning. Um, it requires of us to develop ourselves. So we are all learning. Kapai. Uh, we are all learning, and we'll talk about the resources that are helping us do that um, soon. We have to provide a, um, a sample of um, aligning those kaupapa matua. Um, uh, oh, sorry, we have, to, we have to provide a, an outline of, of the curriculum in context. So... <clears throat> What we did was um, explain to the implement to the Ministry of Education how our designed our, the, the curriculum that we designed aligned back to their um, te marautanga o the the uh, the um, New Zealand curriculum that kura kaupapa, that many most kura kaupapa, um aligned to. Apai. Uh, this is um, because we wanted to put it into language that they understood and to um, demonstrate as well that we know what we're up to by, by, by speaking our talk in their language. 
if you know what I mean. So uh, in the curriculum area that you would find in a normal kura, uh, Pungtaiao on the left-hand side is, is stated there um, with learnings from level one and level three of that curriculum document. Um, in the strands uh, listed, in the strands of Pūtaiao listed in red there, Te Ao Tūroa, Te uh, Oahu Pūngao, O Kawe Kawe Hauora and Taiao, um, we will find um, connection. Ne? We will find connection um, in the context, the, the, the akoranga that we are presenting to our tamariki. Through those whenu, we will be able to align back to the Pūtaiao um, curriculum document and the um, achievement objectives at level one and level three. Apply. This is us. This is the way that we think we've been trained to think this way uh, as, as educators for the last couple of decades. I'm not saying that you have to do this, you have to do it this way, but this is the way that we went. Okay. So you'll see there in the context through the Maramataka Māori, our tamariki will learn the best time to plant together. Uh, to plant kai together, kai to fish, to hunt, to eel, and to rest. Tamariki will learn of our whānau association, uh, associations to those uh, places and the mahi that is undertaken there. Okay. Um, and for, as, as an example, we went out to the Puriora Forest and we, talk, uh, we spoke about one of our tupuna uh, that uh, comes, comes from that rohe comes from the iwi, the te ahika o, o tēnā wahi, and we were able to begin to make connections um, <clears throat> via that activity of um, going out to the ngahere, um, gathering piko piko to uh, our tupuna uh, that come from those, those places. So we are learning um, what we should pick and what we should not. We are observing the maramataka um, because on the day that we went there it was considered to be um, a good day to get into the bush uh, and we are having um, we are putting places to 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 people's names okay so we are cre we're creating um, connections through the um, experiences that we are offering to our tamariki which aligns to the key competencies on the right, on the far right, in the far right column of thinking, creating new knowledge. You could, we would uh, cover all of those, all of those um, competencies there. A big thing um, in Kuda, a big thing in education is recording and evidence, evidencing uh, the learnings. So, we want to know how our tamariki, uh, how, yeah, it's all about measurement. How do you measure that tamariki have moved from A to B in what they understand about what it is that you're teaching them? I'd like to draw your attention to this part here, naturally occurring, deliberate opportunistic assessment. Okay. naturally occurring assessment um, we all know that when you are involved in the mahi doing the mahi you can measure how much you've learnt in, this, in, 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 in whatever uh, time frame by um, observations or corded or about your experience Apai. My tamariki had very, very little um, idea or knowledge about tikanga in the, that, that are appropriate to, to gathering kai from the ngahere. By going there, by standing in the bush and talking about those tikanga, we were able to expose them to that learning on the spot in context at the end of it at the end of that exercise 
when we uh, spoke with the boys again, you know, uh, deliberate questions that are probing um, their understanding of those tikanga, they were able to draw from their experience and explain um, explain um, what they were what what they understood about the questions that I was asking them. So it's experience based learning and giving the the, the boys um, opportunities to learn by doing and then explain explain and um, support uh, the explanations by drawing from their memories, um, by talking about the photos and the videos that, that we took from there and uh, the movies that we, um, that we edited to, uh, together, that we edited together. So uh, the MOE are going to want to know, how are you going to identify that progress is, um, has been made? And they're going to want to know, how will you um, package that evidence? How will you, um, how will you look after all of that data? Okay. I do believe that that data needs that that evidence needs to be um, held on to for five years. Okay. Now, I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. And because of that, we have. Um, opted to uh, package uh, as much of that data visually uh, or, or, or digitally and um, house it in our Google file. One, because it's next to, you know, it, it's pretty cheap. It's cheap to, to, uh, to do it that way if you have access to those, to those technologies. If not, um, um, scrapbooks is an idea, you know, um, just about everybody has a smartphone these days, you know, exploring, well, what you need to do is, is um, give that some thought. How are you going to evidence the learning and where are you going to keep it and be prepared to um, hold on to it for five years, Ehoma. I mentioned this earlier on um, that uh, we would look at the resourcing uh, some of the resources that we provided, that we listed in our application. Um, guest speakers, online apps, internet-based um, resources, books and libraries. You know, don't, don't, don't forget the old public library. Uh, is, it, is it free or is it just you got to pay a little bit at, the, at time of sign-up? I can't remember some of the um, puka puka you might, um, might, might incur a fee uh, to take them home but um, if you're looking at homeschooling then you've probably set time aside to be with your tamariki consider going down to the library um, uh, uh, list them, chuck them in. You know, when you want to make your um, your application as rich um, as as possible, um, there are prepackaged curriculum uh, a curricula out there. If you are considering uh, signing up to <clears throat> um, what's it called, the correspondence school. Um, there are also you, you'll probably find more um, resources as well at uh, if you if you Google search uh, homeschooling New Zealand, there are a few um, homeschooling communities uh, around the country. Wama Haititiro Hiafina Pia Makutu. These resources, uh, well, I made the note down the bottom at the bottom there. These resources will be employed as necessary in order to assist and raise student success and achievement. The application will ask of you your goals uh, for the next 12 months. What are the uh, your educational goals for the next 12 months? 
of home of home uh, education for your for your tomaiti and how will you know that you've met them um in schools at the moment uh, there is lots of talk about individualized learning plans uh, individualized educational plans iep ilp and the kura that we um, just left from that we we just left we were there for five years and um, during those five years our, our principal um, designed and uh, shared with us as staff um, this notion of Modi order planning. So we it, it, it evolved into an individualized Modi order plan, which is designed to promote holistic well-being and success yeah, by tailoring uh, teaching and learning in uh, in in alignment with. Um, in alignment with uh, the promotion of Modi order in our students and our staff. Okay. So what does that look like? That looks like um, understanding uh, what our top, what our, our children, what our three boys' aspirations are, what our aspirations are as parents uh, for the three boys, um, what they love to do, yeah, what, what what is it that they love most in the world? What is it that they want? Um, yeah, what, what, what is it that they love most in the world? And what are the triggers uh, that just tick them right off? You know, what are the triggers that um, are a threat to their modi order? So understanding those four, um, by, by us, by Stella and I understanding those four kaupapa, we were able to design uh, an individualized Modi order plan um, that informs our teaching methods and our teaching and our um, our teaching plans. Okay. Um, so we sent that across with um, with our application to the to the ministry as well. Now the data gathered from the IMP are there the the, the methods and the context. Um, by which the intentions of the overarching kaupapa matua, those three kaupapa matua that I mentioned earlier, are delivered. Strategic goals for the first 12 months. We, um, the ministry, want to make sure that we are going to take care of literacy and numeracy. And we, as parents, also want our kids to be literate and numerate as, anyway. So... Um, with what we, what with with the data that came through our last, uh, our, our three boys' last report, we have an idea of where they were or where um, their le learning levels are um, at the end of term three, just gone. Our goal is that by the end, by term three next year, they will have um, improved by at least one learning level um that's sort of like the the school stuff that has infiltrated no <laughs> the school stuff that um we've decided to carry on um within whakatupu kahika but then you know the real um sort of unschooling uh, approach uh, comes through in the next three um, goals, which is that all three of our tamariki will be able to identify the link to four of their tupuna taketake. Now, this aligns uh, to the tuakiritanga uh, kaupapa matua mentioned earlier, and those um, those four uh, tupuna that are listed there, um, two uh, tupuna of mine from from my maniapoto side, and two are tupuna of of, um, of Stella's. Uh, one uh, from Ngāti Maniapoto, uh, one from um, uh, Ngāti Rereahu, and one from Ngāti Tūwharetoa, which is awesome. Um, the third goal there, apply understanding of maramataka to planning and preparing for activity. Yeah, so um, understand by the, in, in 12 months time, that our tamariki will um, be able to look at the, read, read the maramataka um, Keeping in mind, our, our boys are five at the, at the moment, the twins are five. So by things like color coding and um, 
uh, imagery um, association to those colours, they'll be able to know, oh, yep, he, he rangi pai tēne, he, he, he wā pai tēne ki te whakatupu um, uh, kai, he wā, he wā a pai pea tēne ki a, ki a puta atu ki te, ki te tai, uh, ki te taku tai. Um, he wā, he wā, wā pai rānei tēne ki a noho puku ki te kai. Um, the fourth goal is that we'll be able to see that our tamariki uh, understand kaitiakitanga because they would demonstrate um, mātāpono principles of kaitiakitanga in their everyday life. Here's one. Put your toys away. <laughs> Why not? E koke. Um, the next part in the application asks about your long-term vision by your your your, your long-term vision what are, what's what's your vision where is all of this heading to what are your long-term um educational um achievement goals Kapai? and that's all there uh, ultimately we want our tamariki to be resilient to be mindful to be confident to be uh, themselves and to be Māori and understand that um, in, doing, in doing that and demonstrating those five um, ahuatanga that they can be successful. Apply. So what you read there, what you'll see on this page is, is um, a direction, but it's not specific enough to um, fence them into anything in particular. We want them to grow in their own time, uh, in the in the in the fields, in the various fields that interest them, not uh, what Papa wants them to be. Why? Sounds a little bit fluffy, but that's that's where we're at at the moment. Give us a couple of years, and we'll see how how this might develop. Section three, so that was section two of the um, application uh, for homeschooling exemption. Section three talks about as regularly as. How uh, will you meet the requirement to teach at least as regularly as a registered school? This is what we designed and this is what we sent in. It's based off of a traditional um, kura timetable. What I can say is this, after three weeks in, we've never done this. Okay? We have never done this at all. But what I spoke about earlier, talking their talk, to get it over the mark. Where we have gone, what, um, what we've actually um, employed um, in, term, as, as a, in, in terms of, a, of being a timetable, is that when the maramataka says do this, we, we go do that. Yeah? Um, it has to also work with, with life. So Stella takes care of our day-to-day um, akoranga uh, of, of the boys. She's, she's the boss. She's in charge. Um, we work together though in terms of planning what the what the week looks like and identifying times um, that I am free from my mahi to come in and um, and assist and support um, uh, Stella and the and the, the teaching of our tamariki. For example, um, planning time uh, to go out to the to the ngahere. Um, has has to work in with with my schedule, okay. Um Sometimes I can manipulate my schedule to work in with the maramataka uh, to maximise and and take advantage of um, of uh, uh, exciting and um, appropriate activities for on 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 those given days, okay. So in terms of um, demonstrating or, ex or explaining 
how we would meet the requirement to teach at least as regularly as a registered school. We sent this in because it demonstrated that we know <laughs> that we know um, that educational um, jargon. Whether or not it, um, uh, we've, well, I can say this, we haven't followed it, we haven't delivered on this, but um, if we were asked to um, provide a review on how this is going, we would be, <clears throat> we would be straight up and honest and, and, and explain um, what, what it is that works for us. So that's a quick look through uh, the application um, uh, <clears throat> in particular sections two and sections three of the application for um, exemption uh, for homeschooling. Um, I hope that was of some help to you. And uh, please feel, feel free to make contact with us uh, if you do have any more part time. Tēnā koutou, nō hōra mai, tēnē pō, audi hōra.